If you want your iPad to read to your students, the first thing you need to do is go into your settings and come right down to accessibility. Once you get to accessibility, you have several options here. I do encourage you to look over all of these options if you'd like a complete overview of all of them, let me know. But the first thing you're going to want to do is come right down to under vision where it says spoken content. Then when you look over here, you see you have your speak selection. The nice thing about this is that the speak button will appear when you select text. So that text might be on Safari, it might be on, it might be a PDF. That speak selection must be turned on. The next one is if you want to have the entire screen read, then you would swipe down with two fingers from the top to hear the contents of the screen. Again, you would have to tap that on button. I'm going to leave that off for now. So that one I think is going to be an individual decision. Highlighting the content I think is extremely important for those who need to see and hear the text at the same time. So there are lots of different options here. Can have just the words, just a full sentence or words and sentences. Then the next one here is highlight the highlight style. Should it be underlined or should it be a background color? Well, a couple different thoughts on that. First off, on underlining, that is a visual that even a color blind, if you put a background color, it may not be seen or show up well for those with vision challenges. So my recommendation would be to do the underline. If a student prefers to have the background color, then what they can do is right down here at the bottom, change that color to one that works well for their working and learning brain. My brain does quite well with a green background, so my highlight will be green. And then the same for the sentence as well, maybe a different color for the entire sentence so that the student can differentiate between word and sentence and understand how the words make up the sentences. So that's my spoken content. When I tap to go back, I now have other options that I can look at as well. Typing feedback. These are character hints, characters speaking words while they're being typed. That is helpful. Auto text automatically speak auto corrections and auto capitalizations. This again is going to be dependent upon the student need. I actually had mine turned on for a while to see how it worked and it was a huge distraction but that's because my working and learning brain did not need it. And then also holding to speak predictions when typing predictions are enabled. The student can tap and hold on each word to hear it spoken. Moving back into the spoken content area, look at this, you can select voices and language. So in voices for English, we have several different options here. So the United States English is at the top, although some people like to play around with it and listen to the different accents that are available. Continuing on, the student can also slow down or speed up their speaking rate. I like to keep speak select right. speak selection read selected content. It gives you the sample. Speak selection, read selected content. I don't think anybody could understand that one. And if you have a student who struggles with reading or has a slower processor in their brain, slowing the words down is better for their comprehension than you would slide to the left. Speak selection read selected content. So lots of options there. And then the last one here, we have our pronunciations. There's a specific word, and it could even be the student's name that the computer doesn't understand or the iPad isn't understanding. You would add that and then teach the iPad how to pronounce that word. So that's your spoken content in the accessibility features. Lots more stuff all the way down, physical and motor, hearing, general, subtitles, captioning, lots of stuff here to take a look at. And now that all our settings are done, here's where the magic happens. When I go to a, I'll be in a website here, when I select the words that I want read to me, tap and hold, and notice right up here, the speak button pops up. Some of the recurring topics on faculty focus in the... So you'll notice that while it was speaking, remember I set my sentences to be yellow and my words to be green. Also, while it was speaking, did you notice 
Late work, because teachers regularly deal with those. It There's a pause button so the student can stop, process, take notes, mark up, do what they need to do before their brain is ready to move on. They can even reselect and have it read to them again. Some of the recurring topics are now I'm using Chrome right here, so let's just take the little hop skip over to Safari and watch what happens here in Safari. Same thing, I hold to select my first words, then I just drag my little dot there. Now my speak button shows up. Embark on an adventure of person. And it works exactly the same. When you teach this to your students, they will have learning options at their fingertips at all times.